Hey guys, and welcome to another video from Canuck Tech. Um, today we're going to take a look at the Poetic Hardline, or sorry, Borderline bumper case for the Google Nexus 4. So I ordered this on eBay. Uh, it comes in a pretty simple package. I've opened it, just cut it open there for now. Just to make things easier because with my luck I'll cut my finger off or something trying to open it. So, uh, simple packaging. This cost, uh, I think it was $9.92 US, uh, and it was $6.99 shipping. So all said and done, it was under $20 to come to Canada. Um, and I wanted to get something uh, in the bumper variety for my Nexus 4 because it's pretty much impossible to get the other one from Google. So let's pop it out of that case, and well, the packaging is very simple. Just like a baggie made in China with the bumper inside. So let's pop it out and see what we got here. All right, so so the bumper itself is uh, it's very light and it weighs virtually nothing. I'm, I'm noticing already it's not going to be much adding much bulk to the uh, to the phone itself. We have cutouts on the top. We'll go over all those once we uh, put it on the phone. Volume rockers, power on off. No, it's going to be easy to see or not, but there's a poetic branding right there on the side, and the bottom has some more cutouts. Pretty flimsy, it's got like a kind of a, it's a TPU material, cut maybe a, a, real, a real flexible plastic on the outer part here, um, with the TPU to add a little grip in certain spots around the case. All right, so let's pop it on to the Nexus 4. And these are just simply just bring the edges around. There, it's on. So, feels good in the hand. Interesting feeling because it it really doesn't feel like much of a case. It just kind of feels like a big lip around the outside, obviously, because there's nothing on the back um, at all or on the front. So screen, you know, screen shields on the front and the protector on the back might be an idea if you're concerned about that. So let's move around the device. At the top, we have our uh, microphone jack, noise canceling microphone, and a good cutout. They're good, good shape, well well positioned. And this here. Sleep wake button feels good, it's responsive, works well. Back obviously is open. Um, the bottom, we have our charging port, lots of room in the charging port. Uh, if, you have a, if you're using an oddball one that needs more room for some reason. Microphone down here, fully exposed. Yeah, it feels good. Um, I'm gonna try it out for a while. Um, there's not really too much to say about it. Um, I'll put a link in the description box on where I got it. If you feel, it, I think it's a, a really nice feeling case. It, it fits really well. There's uh, you know there's not a ton of give around the outside of it. It uh, there's a little bit of lay on the table design. Obviously, it's a minimal protection case. Obviously, I, I wouldn't want to. If you drop it on the sides, you might be okay. But I, with the front and back being glass, this is about the least amount of protection you're going to want for your Nexus 4, barring going with nothing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this pretty simple. I just, you know, thought I'd show you guys an alternative to the, the actual uh, OEM branded one from Google. Um, so I think this is a good alternative. And uh, like I said, the link will be in the bottom if you want to pick one up. I got it on eBay and I'll, uh, I'll make sure it's there for you. All right, thanks and have a great day.